take 197. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome aboard the good ship Mo Lee. Today is May 18, 2019, day 225, I believe, of the figure eight voyage. And Mo and I are in the North Atlantic horse latitudes. Position 30 degrees and a half north and 60 degrees and a half west. So Bermuda is about 225 miles that way. And St. John is about 1,000 miles. That way. We're getting there, slowly, but we're in the horse latitudes, which means a lot of calm. What are the horse latitudes? That's just a funny name for a big high pressure system where there isn't much wind. But from what I understand, the name comes from the following. So imagine the golden age of sail and exploration. A group of colonials want to take off for the new world. They get a big square rig ship, they get all their things together, they set off south and they have to get through this. And in the summer months in particular, this high pressure system can be stationary and wide. It takes weeks to get through. And during the course of those weeks, they drink up all their water, or at least a lot of it. And they make the uncharitable decision to throw the livestock overboard, to ditch the horses instead of the humans to save on water. Therefore, you have the horse latitudes. No idea if that's true. That's one of actually several stories. But in any case, what's true about the horse latitudes is there's not much wind here. And we've been flirting with the edge now for four or five days. We are now pretty much in it, except for this actually lovely little breeze that's come up in the last half hour. Maybe four or five knots from the east, I believe. Uh, but my decision is made, and after I get done shooting this video, we're going to flick on the engine and head due north. I've been saving fuel for this. This is the moment. This is our last big more or less stationary, calm to get through. Once we get through this, and this is about two degrees wide right now, it's about two degrees of calm area. Once we punch through that, we'll be in the true North Atlantic. And I don't know if you've seen the weather recently, but it's still kicking in the North Atlantic. It's only middle May, and it's uh, not summertime up there yet at all. So about every four or five days, a pretty good sized low pressure system develops right off the coast and becomes a honker. Uh, huge. Uh, stretches all the way from Europe to Greenland and all the way to St. John. So in a certain sense, it's quite fun to spend a few more days down here in the horse latitudes and let things warm up north a bit. But we're going to press on. We're pressing on because we have things to do. Uh, a lot of chores in St. John, a lot of reprovisioning to do, and then at least two big hurdles before we get home. One is pretty obvious. The Northwest Passage. A lot of shallow water, a lot of ice. Uh, it's been some difficult years up there. There's no guarantee at all that we'll get through. But I want to get there on time at least and give ourselves a really good chance of making it. That's the first big hurdle, about 5,000 miles of difficult piloting. Then it'll be probably September, October at least by the time we get back down into the Pacific, down toward the Aleutians, have to cross the Bering in the Gulf of Alaska to get home in the late fall and very early winter and that could, uh, that could wake us up <laughs> pretty significantly. Uh, that's some hairy business down there. So two big challenges yet to go before we complete the figure eight voyage. It's uh, easy to feel in this easy sailing in the tropics and, and up in here. It's easy to feel like we're on the home stretch and that is not the case at all. We have some big business yet in the high latitudes up north. So that's my report for today. Uh, soon you should see a straight line heading north or just a little bit of east of north and you'll know we've got the engine going and we're heading into the North Atlantic trying to get to St. John in the next week or two. Thanks for following along. Appreciate the follow and uh, take care.